and welcome to another video. Basically recorded uh, a video yesterday, but uh, the voice quality was uh, trash, so I'm re-recording this. So today I'm going to tell you how do Linux users uh, install OSU on their computers, basically how they can install it. What we'll need is an application called Luch. So launch your favorite package manager. I'm going to use uh, a command line. So basically grab Lutris and uh, this application will make uh, installing and configuring OSU easier. It will grab uh, all of the dependencies for you. It will install uh, OSU without uh, any fuss. So now when it's installed, what we need to do is to launch Lutris. There we go. Click the plus at the top and search the Lutris website. Let's search for O2. Here we go. And install stable. And you can enter the directory name. Uh, this directory exists for me because I have it installed already, so I'll call it video. Video install it says that uh, it will grab a uh, OSU installer. Now it will uh, set up the wine prefix. Let's wait a couple while. Uh, here you click uh, cancel because uh, Lutris will install .NET uh, framework anyways, so mono is not needed for this. finished installing and we can click close and we can click play Now, when OSU is installed, we can play OSU. Example, let's play catch. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious.
in the line reading with his skin is not easy. I missed my skin already. ourselves Alright Now when we are finished we can click exit Right and now over next step now Let's say that uh, you don't want to Install Lutris and let it install Wine and stuff. Let's say you want to run this natively. So, what you're going to need is to install Laser. It's basically the future of OSU. And uh, you can download it straight uh, from the OSU's website. See, it says uh, download Laser for Linux. Click download. And it will download uh, also app image. Right? I already have uh, it uh, downloaded. So now let's, let's go to my app image user. And uh, what you are going to need to do is to make it executable. So click properties, permissions, and click on allow this file to run as a program or you can do this through terminal go to the directory and issue this command this will do the same thing and you can launch it by double clicking Something wrong. Something is wrong. Maybe because I'm using Python. Let's see. Uh, the device. Pipewire. Right. There we go. This is the first time setup. Of also laser, Let's set up a uh, UI scaling. Get the tutorial, and if you have a stable, you can import your existing scores, maps, and skins. So let's do that. Games, also vid, drive C, also. There we go. This is uh, the also install I installed earlier. See, one score and 17 bit maps. Import content. And 
Where is it? There we go. Was on the catch. And here is our score. You can even watch the replay. We can even access uh, the skin editor. We can add the star rating and stuff. You know, the usual laser stuff. You can play Mania, for example. Or you can even install a custom game mode. There are multiple. Uh, there are multiple of these uh, available on the internet. And when you are finished, you can click exit or you can log in by clicking at the top. Of course, you can register a new account if you never played those before. Let's exit and let me show how you can install Blizzard for the other means. Uh, uh, of course, uh, downloading an app image is uh, the official way to run Laser. But you can uh, run Laser for the other means. You can download it through Flatpak. You can uh, download it uh, for your favorite uh, GUI tool. Or you can enter. Add back install OSU and grab the package called sh.ppi.osu. Of course, it says that uh, it's skipped uh, because I have it uh, installed. And uh, you can launch it uh, the usual way you launch uh, an application, well, a flat pack application. And uh, it's that simple. So thank you so much for watching, feel free to follow my socials or you can subscribe to my channel, see you guys next time.